welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to mount the little JST connectors uh, on the other end of the wire. Um, we've just snapped one off. This come in packs of 100. So I'm going to mount that in our little block to hold it. And we'll need some side cutters and long nose pliers. So just separate your wires out. Doesn't matter which wire you, you solder in. Because we can swap them all around later if we need to on the board. So just strip one off. And you only need to strip off a tiny amount, probably about three mils, so just a tiny bit of wire. Because we're not going to we're not going to set these up as they're supposed to be set up. So we're only going to just hold the end of the. I don't know if you can see that. I might get past to zoom in a bit. So we're going to use the end of the crimp, which actually is designed to hold the the shielding, the plastic sheath of the wire. We're going to use that just to grab that end of the copper. Because we, we don't want, when, when we solder it, we don't want the solder to end up in the middle here. So I'm just going to fold these wings over a little bit. So I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just going to fold that, sort of pre, pre-bend it a bit. So I can just slot the wire in and then just crush it up. So I've just closed that up a little bit. Just try and twist that end, because I'm just going to insert it in that little, that little hole. And I'm just going to crimp that up. Which I haven't really done very well. So we've just curled that little end up and we're just going to insert the wire there into that little that little pre-formed pre little hole and we're just going to crush it up. And we're just going to put a tiny amount of solder on it. This is the tricky part. Because if you put too much solder on it, it'll flow up into the into the barrel of the connector, and you won't be able to put it on the on the header properly. So just a tiny bit of solder on the end there, and just be really quick about it. So you don't want to keep the tip on there, because if you keep the heat on, the solder will actually just run up into there and and block the block the crimp, and it won't work. So if you look at that, you can see the solder hasn't flown up. Now you can actually test it on. On a on a board on the on the ramps on just one of the empty pins just to test it. So then we'll just do the next one. So be careful not to crush it. You still have to get the wire in there. So I've just curled those tips over. Crush it up. Still haven't really done a good job. Just, just check it. Tiny bit of solder. That one's ready. So 
So these are really fiddly. There is a crimping tool, but I reckon it's even harder than doing this, than soldering it. Most of the guys find this easier than using the crimping tool. And it's more reliable too. Okay, so they're on. It's not, not my best work, but it'll do. So now we're going to grab um, four bits of heat shrink, and we only want to we want to cover it from the tip of the tip of the crimp, probably to about four millimeters onto the insulation. So about that long. Just cut four pieces. Grab your heat gun, or a candle, or a lighter, whatever you got, or a hairdryer. So I usually just hold it with my fingernail, and I'll just I'll just heat this end, and once that's gripped, then I can let go, and heat the other end, and move my fingers out the way. And that's it. Just twist it up a little bit just to keep everything together. And that cable is ready to go on the printer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.